Hey guys and welcome back to the Cursed GT2 A spec playthrough. If you haven't watched the previous episode, I recommend you go do that. Anyways, I welcome you back to the world of this wonderful mod. Alright, welcome back to the GT2 A spec playthrough. I guess now that I bought my starter car, it's time to go race. But first let me get into my Mazda Demi. What the hell? What is a Nissan Skyline doing in my garage? Guys, I swear I did not set this up. It just so happens that something cursed happened with my memory card. Eh, it's not like that matters anyways, cause it's time to go race. Huh? Why is it saying Red Rock Valley? Isn't that one of the most complex events in the game? Bruh, I'm not sure if this even is Sunday Cup. I swear most of the challenge comes from navigating through the menus rather than actually playing the game. After making sure that was actually Sunday Cup, I can finally get on with the races. And the third one, don't ask, is held at Red Rock Valley. So let's see how I do. Not even the first corner came around and I'm already overtaking the S15 Sylvia. And same goes for the three cars in front of it and the red Audi. And before you ask, no, the game did not run this well. What you're watching currently is the sped up footage. Anyways, I accidentally went wide on this corner, causing the AI to catch up to me. And then I got to this corner, where the Audi and this mirror looking sedan overtook me. But then I managed to overtake them back. Now, as you'd probably expect, I did not do too well. Due to this being my literal first time driving in the game and not being used to the physics. And as a result, I ended up turning way too quick on this corner, causing me to lose a lot of time. Causing me to get overtaken by the S15 Sylvia and the two mirror looking sedans. This was just the first lap though. The second one proved to be a lot easier. The first corner came around and I managed to overtake the mirror looking sedans and the Zhutek S15. And then on this corner, I once again flew over the sand trap, except this time it didn't really affect me much. And then it wasn't until this corner that this cheese looking S15 managed to overtake me. Except this time I wasn't able to overtake it by the end of the long corner. Driving out of the tunnel I managed to catch up to the S15 Sylvia and overtake it on this corner. I learned my mistake from the last lap and remembered to take this corner safely. And now that I made it to the finish line I went all out to try to make it to the finish line before anyone overtakes me. And it looks like my attempt was indeed successful. And just like that I managed to win the race and I've earned 5,000 credits as a reward. The second race is that high speed ring. 10 seconds pass by and I managed to overtake everyone despite literally doing nothing except holding W. And it wasn't until this corner where I accidentally went into the grass causing me to lose my first place to this car which identifies as a mirror. But then I managed to overtake it back once this long corner came around. And then literally nothing else happened after that. Allowing me to get first place and earn 4000 credits as a reward. The first and the final race is at Tahiti Road. And literally all I had to do was hold W and I'm already in first. And the only car that was even close to overtaking me was this Zhutek Vitz. And this might have just been 
the easiest first place in history. The only real challenge came from the third race at Red Rock Valley. Either way, I won the race and earned my well-deserved 3,000 credits. And just like that, I managed to complete Sunday Cup. Now let me just save the game real quick, and there we go. Join me in the next episode where I try to beat the National B License.